What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do a little q and A. I received a question a few days ago from one gentleman, Mr. Vico. Hi Steve, can you talk about all the insecurities of men like being ugly, looks, status, height, ethnicity, age, job, money, account, hair, skin color, dot dot dot, and how is dating for 40 plus year old guys? Can a 45 year old guy go for under 25 year old girls? Talk about age gap, thanks. So let's talk about the first part of the question. As men, we all have a lot of insecurities, which is normal, even me myself, I think I'm a great example when it comes to looks. I'm a below average looking guy, but I learned to adapt. I learned to deal with it. And most guys, that is what you have to do in life. As you get into different experiences, different phases of your life, you gotta learn how to adapt to the outcome that you can't change and just deal with it like a man. So for instance, I honestly never think I'm good looking, but I don't give a shit. I'm not banging myself. The girl that's gonna be looking at me and girls in general do not care about your looks. The girl cares, number one, the experience that she gets from you. Number two, the emotional comfort when she's around you. She can be herself the energy so a lot of guys they like to jump too much into theories and the whole POA community about you know all this useless stuff that you don't really need when it comes to going out on the field and actually go game and get the girl that you want try to hook the girl that you like interact with her have a good interaction and then try to pull or close her etc a lot of guys to this day still refer to the old school methods of like the game the book you know by Neil Strauss or whatever his name is yes I bought his book once when I was like maybe 15 16 because I was like kind of depressed I was down my eyes were always dropping down I mean that's how I look naturally I can't change that unless I go to plastic surgery but again if you do plastic surgery that doesn't really hide your insecurities it just shuts it out even more so you got to learn how to deal with your emotional insecurities and just like fuck it this is what I'm born with but I can make changes around my life whether it's the physical aspects by going to the gym the financial aspects by working my ass off or building my social skills learning how to build social circles learning how to network with people learning how to interact with people and that's what makes us human beings be better than most species because we have the ability to think out of our damn stone head coconut head mentality that yes we can actually do something but these days a lot of you guys are soft or lazy you guys come with excuses I can't do this oh I don't have enough time to go to the gym if you don't have enough time to go to the gym wake up 30 minutes earlier and then head to the gym but most of you guys want to spend too much time wasted on Netflix so the three things that I said you can change about yourself is your physical appearance within the gym naturally get fit get buff feel good because when you go to the gym you feel emotionally stable you feel happy you don't have to spend that much time at the gym put down your phone for 45 minutes lift some weights do some push-ups jump if you have to lose weight too if you're not happy financially go out get a job work do two jobs do a side job or start a side business at the same time grind your ass off for the next year or two maybe even three years you have to keep active you have to keep going forward you can't just stay where you are and not do anything and complain and cry and make excuses you have to do something to make a change in your own personal life if you want to change your financial issues that's what you got to do as a man once you reach a certain finances then you can focus on building your statuses you can change your statuses whether you want to become powerful you want to become famous there's so many ways to change change your statuses in doing things or if you want to build your social status in the city that you're in in your community in your industry learn to network with people learn to talk with people learn to build social skills people talk about oh picking up girls blah 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 it's uh, not such an important skill but it's interacting it's socializing it's learning how to network with people if you're comfortable with yourself if you're feeling confident with yourself to talk with a girl a very attractive good-looking girl with I don't know D cups or whatever and you're not nervous you don't shake and you can talk about stuff that you're actually interested in instead of talking about garbage that she doesn't care Care about like interview questions just to talk which is boring and the girl doesn't give a shit about you at the end and you don't care about what you're talking about to her but if you learn how to build social skills learn how to make her laugh learn how to make her interested in the thing that you do what you do for a living the interest that you have that applies as well when it comes to building your relationships within the network of your industry that you're in career moves um, businesses that you want to explore expand into they all link together so those are three things that you can make a change in regarding height you can't change your height height really doesn't matter I've met so many guys that are short that are like 160 dating 170 me I've dated multiple girls that are 186 182 the reason why I started liking girls that are tall to this day I prefer tall girls over average height girls is because I want to have tall kids I don't want my kids to be shorties naturally giving them the best genes like okay maybe I don't have the height but I have the strength when it, when it comes to sports when it comes to fighting whatever that's what I can pass my genes towards my kids and the height and at least a beautiful face is from my girl again looks don't be insecure learn to be comfortable with yourself then that's when you can share that energy because honestly girls do not care if you got your face smashed by a shovel she does not give a shit about that she cares about the experience that she's going to gain from you what kind of value you bring to the table if you make her feel comfortable make her feel happy that's what girls want ethnicity again that shit don't matter doesn't matter your skin is white as fucking snow or you're black as a sea urchin if you're brown like a burnt potato that does not matter girls are not that fucking low as us guys most guys we judge a girl by her cover by her looks that's what guys do we 
like, oh damn, she's got the hourglass look or she has a nice like uh, collarbone. You know, a lot of guys look at all this weird kind of stuff. I don't look at that personally. I just look at height, pretty face, busty rack, um, peach bum. Again, you see, that's what I judge a girl by. But then it doesn't mean I'm gonna date her, I'm gonna marry her or whatever. I have to get to know her personality. If her personality is cool, then the relationship can be something more. Where for a girl, she cares more about what you do in life. What is your passion? What is your goal? Whether you are working for a company, whether you are a small business owner, it doesn't matter. But as long as she sees that you have a drive, that you're striving to do better for your life, then she's like, okay, this guy is trying to improve his life. Let's say last year he made like an average, I don't know, 50,000 US. Next year he's making 60. And then the year after he's making 70,000. The girl's like, okay, this guy is slowly coming up, but I can see there's a drive, there's passion. She's going to feel happy enough and secure enough that, okay, this guy can look after me and our kid and our family. That's what girls want. Financial security. Aside from that, a lot of guys like to cry like, oh, girls are gold diggers. They only want money. No, there's so many girls that make their own money. There's a lot of girls that are successful on their own. You guys got to stop being so backward and be like, they're all not gold diggers, especially if you live in the city. If you're a city person, you think a girl is going to be fucking just sitting there at home all day, not doing jack shit? Of course not. She might be jerking some guys off, but hey, at least she's getting paid, you know, 500 bucks per night or whatever. There's a lot of girls that make a lot of money. A lot of girls doing OnlyFans. A lot of girls that I've gone on dates with, they always offer to pay, whether to go 50-50 or some girls even offer to pay everything. Like one of the most recent girls I went out with just a few days ago, freaking busty girl, nice rack, good height, 175 cm, very beautiful face, amazing skin, nice and soft. She knows how to take care of herself, very feminine. But we went out together for like a $200 like uh, rooftop drink, just chilling. She offered to pay the whole thing, not just once, like six, seven times throughout our date. And I'm just like, what the fuck? That's kind of crazy. Like first date and she wants to pay for everything. Is she up to something? But no, she was just being real. She's like, yeah, I just enjoy you. You're different. You're not like other guys. I feel comfortable with you and I just like being around you. Again, that's what I'm saying. Girls, they don't really care if you're rich or you're the best looking guy because there's a lot of good looking guys there's a lot of rich guys but they treat girls like shit they don't know how to talk to girls they're awkward they're shy they're weird their interactions suck they don't know how to share experiences like again they just don't know how to be themselves so with this girl she knows i don't judge i don't care what she does whatever life experience that she has she shares it to me openly all these little things and it's not just with her it's with every single girl that i go out with you know when you're able to make the girl feel comfortable yes you can pull her on the first night i did pull her on the first night some girls you might take two dates again some girls are like very defensive they're like not sure they could trust you if they should let their guard down with you but if you're able to make her feel comfortable boom easy you can pull her and again this is where I say a lot of guys they make this mistake where they meet a girl let's say from day game I need to pull her right now I need to close her I need to get her number guys are always rushing where's the fire buddy just chill enjoy the process enjoy the experience take her out go on a date you know you don't have to go to an expensive $200 date like I did you can bring her to like a $50 date or $30 date that's fine or even like $10 ice cream date but you have to make her feel comfortable comfortable, enjoy the moment, enjoy the experience that she gets out of you, the value that she gets out of you, and then it will happen. Versus all these other guys that you see on the PUA community is like, oh, we need to manipulate girls, we need to lie to girls, we gotta sell a market. No, it's learning just to be comfortable with yourself. The game has changed. Most of the times I think of PUA guys, they're just a bunch of fucking nerds, a bunch of fucking losers that do not know how to be comfortable with themselves first. Most of these guys are not comfortable with themselves. They're so insecure. Like if you think about it, a lot of PUA channels, they like to put up clips of themselves like, Ah, kissing girls, making out with them. And then like, you see guys, I can get good. This is, I have no anxiety, zero anxiety, Um, blah, 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 all this shit. I mean, buddy, everyone has anxiety. It's just learning how to control it, learning how to deal with it. If I were not to pick up girls for, let's say, I don't know, a good year, two years, five years, and I were to jump back and just picking up girls, of course I have anxiety. Let's say I date someone for six months, full on committed, and then I decide to get back into the game. Of course, the first day back, I need to push myself extra hard. The same as the gym. When I was gymming back in the day, I could lift about almost 240, 240 bench. If I were to go back right now to gym and hit the bench at 240, I would fucking break my fucking chest because there's no way I could do that. I got to slowly go back, get back into the routine, you know, start off with like a, a comfortable weight. At max right now, I probably could do maybe, I don't know, 150, very easy. And this is me just coming back to the gym after many years. I only started really gymming again this past month. I've been going almost every single day for the last 30 days and I could see a big difference in terms of my physique. 
everything. So the same with pickup. Pickup, you can't expect to like, oh, I'm gonna pull the girl, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. No, you gotta warm up, you gotta know the basics. The basics starts off with yourself, feeling comfortable with who you are, with your skin, with your color. You know, if you're bald, fuck it, rock the dome. Just be confident. It doesn't matter, you have hair, you don't have hair, you have a ponytail, man bun, dreadlocks, fine. But when you go out and meet the girl, just make sure you look presentable, the way you style your hair. If you're bald and you got, you know, pieces of hair hanging around, fucking shave that shit off. Just look presentable with your clothing, your style. Again, just look nice, look decent. You don't need to wear a fucking suit. Don't smell like shit. Make sure to brush your teeth, use mouthwash, get some mints, perfume, just spray it one, two, three, four. If you want four times, that's fine. I usually just do two, one at the front, one at the back. You don't want to overdo things. Next, the second part of the question in terms of age, the age gap. So 40 plus year old men want to date girls who are like in their 25s. Personally, I prefer girls no younger than 23 because mentally they're much more developed. They're better. I can have a better connection. If you go for girls that are younger than that, especially Bangkok, they're kind of wild. They just want to party. They want to drink and do drugs and do stupid dumb shit. So for me, I honestly, I can't even be bothered to go out to a nightclub. <laughs> at this age, I just don't care. I don't mind going to a rooftop bar near my spot and then pull, that's about it. So in terms of age, a lot of guys are insecure about age, like, oh, I'm too old, I can't get a girl, blah, 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 blah. No, girls honestly do not give a shit about your age. I've gone up and approached so many girls, whether they're 20, 25. If you watch a lot of my old videos, I say I'm 42 and the girl will be like, oh, what, really? Haha, <laughs> and they don't care. They just continue with the interaction and they just enjoy the experience with me because I own my shit up. Even when it comes to older woman, if you wanna date older woman and you're a younger male, let's say you're like, 18, 19, 20 years old and you're into MILFs, you're into like 35 year old chicks or you're into like 40 year olds or 50, whatever, 60 even. Again, it's just how you portray yourself, how you own your shit. Like I said, if you're bald, own it. Yeah, fucking bald, rocking the dome. If you're ugly, yeah, I'm fucking ugly. But whatever, I'm still a cool guy in the inside. I might be ugly in the outside because again, people are not gonna fucking judge you like, oh, he's brown, ah! They don't give a fuck, they don't care. Get that in your head. The thing is that you can't make these kind of like negative assumptions without going out and trying and talking and interacting with people. So some of you might be like, yeah, but I got rejected by one girl, the one girl or three girls. Fuck them. Who gives a shit? It's part of life. Rejection is normal. You know, stop being a little bitch. Go and get rejected by at least a thousand girls. And then you tell me. Because not all 1,000 girls are going to be racist to, oh, you have dark skin, you're Indian, or you're Chinese, you're Asian. Like, you know, back in the day, a lot of people were like, oh, only the Western guys, the white guys get all the pussy. All the Asian girls are only into Western guys, blue eye, blonde hair guys. No, they don't give a fuck about that. A lot of Asian girls do not give a shit. If you're white it's just how you present yourself so this girl she was asking me how old i was on the date i told her i was 42 and she's 24 she's like oh but whatever it's cool i don't care if you're 42 i was like what you like younger guys or older guys she's like actually i don't care about age age doesn't matter it's more about person i'm with how the interaction is just the overall experience like i keep saying so my guy vico to sum up my whole conclusion when it comes to talking to girls to meeting girls about age whether the insecurities it doesn't matter it's learning how to own up your shit like let's say you're at your job and you pissed off the client you just have to own up to your boss and tell him, yeah, I fucked up. I missed the call. The client got pissed off. He wasn't happy with the presentation or whatever. Or you made a mistake and you did the wrong booking for the client. The boss would be like, okay, at least the fucking guy, you, told him the truth. But if you were to lie about it, like, no, I don't know. I don't know anything, blah, blah, blah. Two months go by. The boss finds out the truth. He sees the call records. He sees the email chain. He's like, man, you fucked up and you lied about it. I'm gonna fire your ass right now. So learn to own your shit up. Doesn't matter. Negative or positive things. It's all about being confident with yourself, being confident with whatever you have in front of you. There are many times that I've gone up to girls and be like, what do I do for work? I tell them I work at 7-Eleven or I work for, at McDonald's. I'll be like, I can give you a free vanilla cone on Sundays if you come to McDonald's at Siam Paragon during the afternoon or during the evening. And the girl just laughs and like, haha, whatever, it's funny. You see, it's just owning up your shit. It doesn't matter what you do. But again, not all girls are like, oh fuck, he's working at McDonald's. I like him just because he's so comfortable with himself, blah, blah, blah. Not all girls are like that. Everyone is different. It's not all guys like transgenders. Not all guys like Asian girls. Not all guys like like Western girls, Middle Eastern girls, dark skinned girls, everyone is different. So, you know, that's the point of the game. You have to go out, talk to lots of people. Don't say it's a numbers game. Fuck off. Everything in life is a numbers game. If you want to sign a client, you have to go out and reach out to like maybe 300 clients every day if you do sales. If you don't do sales, then you might not know what I'm talking about, but that's part of life. Stop making excuses. Go out, talk to girls, talk to people. And there's always going to be someone that's going to hate you or love you. And that's part of the game. If you don't like it, then fucking stay home, jerk off, cry about it. Go 
pay a fucking working girl because the more losers that I see out there that are paying for working girls, the more single girls that are out there alone and I can go up and talk to them and smash them. While you guys are at home crying and feeling shit after your jerk off girl leaves back to her next appointment and you're like, fuck, I paid $200 to get jerk off by a chick who didn't even enjoy jerking me off. Exactly. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. If you guys want me to do more Q&A videos like this, make sure to smash the like button as always and let me know in the comments right down below if you have any other questions. And if you're in Bangkok and you want to do boot camps with me one on one, make sure to hit me up on the DMs on Instagram at steveocctv or you want to do one on one online coaching, you can email me as well. I'll see you guys next time and I hope you guys smash this week. Be positive, don't be negative, you know. Again, I know it's not easy being a guy. It's hard to meet people that have similar mindsets that are going through the same thing in life, like the same phases of like, you know, being lonely, meeting the right girl, building the confidence to go out there. Yes, it's part of life. It's part of becoming a man, developing yourself as a person, but high risk, high rewards, push yourself out there and just enjoy the process. Fuck rejection, fuck haters. Just enjoy because life is short. As I said, the last two years, the whole lockdown thing going on, it was just depressing for a lot of people, a lot of men. So take the opportunities that you can take right now at the end of the day you're like oh at least i tried better than fuck i should have gone up and talked to the girl fuck why did i follow her like a creeper and never said a word for two hours just go up there don't waste your time just be like hey excuse me indirectly i like your t-shirt where do you get it from it looks cool you're wearing anime or whatever and the girl be like oh it's from blah 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 market oh thank you you're so nice what's your name introduce yourself or if you're more ballsy and you're like fuck it i'm never gonna see the girl again so i don't care about rejection then you go up to the girl and be like hey i was on the way to the coffee shop i noticed you're really cute and i had to introduce myself my name is Steve what is your name and then you build a conversation from there all right I hope I inspired some of you guys keep going forward don't look backwards enjoy life peace